Hey girls and welcome to week five, the last week of the five minute flower challenge. And what an incredible five weeks it has been. All the way from freehand arrangements in week one, to foraging in your own backyard, to practicing creative mindfulness with the petal mandalas last week. This week we're finishing up with a bang and celebrating your personal style. As you know, we're not really into formal floristy arrangements. It's all about incorporating fresh flowers into your home and to make your world that little bit more beautiful. This week, it's all about your favorite things. This week's project is to create a little vignette, which will basically be a little styled corner of your home that's a tribute to your style. It'll give you ideas on how to create a beautiful centerpiece for your table, or even a stylish shelf for a coffee table. What you'll need for this week's challenge is a collection of your favorite things. And what those are is completely up to you. For me, I'm including a few things that I really love and that bring me joy when I have a look at them. So for instance, I've got a few vessels that I just adore and a few candles and candle holders that I love. A couple of my favorite books. And of course, whatever flowers are your absolute favorite at the moment. A few things to think about. You usually want to incorporate a few contrasts. So that could be mixing up some natural materials like botanicals with a hint of, say, metallics. Or um, to mix up different shapes. So you may have a round tray and then mix that up with some angles like some hardcover books. Have a think about colours as well. Are you going to go all warm or all cool? Um, or are you going to keep it really minimal and say all white? For me, I'm keeping everything quite natural. I'm uh, going for a bit of a bohemian eclectic look with lots of wood textures, um, obviously fresh flowers and botanicals, and just a hint of colour with the books and some ceramics. When it comes to choosing vases for your flowers, try to use some vessels that have a little bit of added extra visual interest, like this great ceramic cup or recycled vessels are great for this. So I've got this jar that I've lost the lid to and it's got this great little blackboard bit at the front. And that's my go-to default vase for a project like this. To begin, start out with your flat objects first. This could be a beautiful tray, a table runner or a piece of fabric. In my case, I'm starting out with this beautiful wooden board that has a bit of sentimental value because it was made by one of my friends. And once you're generally happy with how that looks, you start adding some of your other items. And don't forget, you can keep editing as you go, so if you're not happy with it, just nip it out. Now, styling a vignette is really similar to doing a flower arrangement. So it's all about adding a couple of items in here and there and creating a beautiful balanced look. It's not about symmetry. Now the idea is to create some little collections of items that fit together and create little clusters or focal points to focus on. This week I've got this really cool gum nut, which I might just add a little bit laying down and then some in the bars behind to add a bit of height. I'm just dropping in some of these dried proteas, a short one at the front and just a couple tucked into the candle holder at the back. And a bottle of champagne for fun. Finally, finishing off with a short vase of wax flour. And as usual, it's all about stripping away those lower leaves. Just going to nestle that in. Right about here. 
finishing touch. So here's a whole lot of my personal favourite things right here. Most everything in this vignette has got some sentimental value. Now I can't wait to see what you come up with and some of your favourite things. As always, don't forget to post on Instagram or in the Flower Squad Facebook group because we would love to see what you come up with. And Mel and I are working hard to make flowers a fun and easy experience. So we'd love your feedback. Drop us an email or get in touch in the Facebook group. I hope you've loved this five minute flower challenge experience. And I promise this is not the last you'll hear from us. So for myself and the team at Bloombox Crew, enjoy and we'll see you soon.